Okay, so practicing a couple probability questions. Question one, find the probability of getting a value less than negative 1.81. So the number would normally be given to you on a test or homework problem, but I'm just making you wait until I tell you what it is on the test. So once I know what value I'm working with, the first thing I always like to do is draw the picture, which I kind of started the picture here for you. So I'm looking, I want to draw negative 1.81. So here's negative 1 on the table. Would negative 1.81 be to the left or to the right of that number? Well, remembering how the number line works, it's up to negative 1 and even past that almost to negative 2. So that means the z-score would be almost closer to the negative 2. But ultimately, I just want my line somewhere over there to begin with anyways. And since this question asked me to find area to the left, and I know it wants area to the left because it asked me to find area less than that z-score, I'm going to look up the z-score and use the value as is. No calculations. Leave the number alone. This was case one. So I shaded my area to the left. I go to my table to find the negative 1.8 from the first two digits on the left. And since that last digit's a 1, I'm looking for 0 0.01 on the top. And I found 0 0.0351 in the middle of the table. That's my area or my probability. Um, don't forget, as a percentage, it's the same as 3.51%, except for since I like my answers with only one digit to the right. I'm just going to answer with 3.5%. And remember, we talked about, you know, if we cut the table in half and we knew that it was 0.5 on the left half, I can see that this picture is way less than 0.5, so I knew that my answer should be less than 0.5. Let's go ahead and do a second problem. Find the probability of a value being less than 2.94. Now this is normally how a test question looks. I personally will draw the table, and because it's a positive number, just go three standard deviations to the right, then I go and draw my z-score, positive 2.94, right? It's going to be past the 2, but not as far as the 3. And which way am I going to shade on this one? Yeah, I'm going to shade to the left because it asks for less than. And now I'm ready to use my table. Find the whole number in the first digit to the right um, on the left side of the table. Find the second digit after the decimal on the top of the table, and find they meet at 0.9984. And since I want area to the left, so I'm just going to use that number as is. Remember, this is case one from those scenarios given. And so I'm going to answer with 99.8%. There's a 99.8% chance that somebody will be less than 2.94 standard deviations beyond the mean. And again, if you look at the picture we already talked about, we knew that this left half was 0.5, so I knew my answer was going to be way more than 0.5 because it's more than half of the table.